Hello everyone. Welcome to Denmark. Welcome to the Greater Copenhagen. And wel welcome to Katib Cultural Association. For the members that are already here, welcome back. My name is Mechid Paima, and I'll be talking a little bit about this event of appreciation. So, the Katib Cultural Association is very proud to present a great man as being a close friend to many of us. And it's our honor and we are very proud to share this appreciation in, through this gathering to the one and only Mr. Hussein Ali Hassan. Hussein Ali Hassan, or more popularly known as Hussein Ogwani, and as we know him, Hussein Babe, he was born in Waraz in Hazaristan in Afghanistan, and this is where he spent his childhood. And when he was a teenager, he moved to Iraq, and then afterwards he moved to Pakistan. In the 1960s, he moved here to Denmark along with some of his friends, and this is where he's been ever since. Along with himself, he also brought many of the Hazara culture's values here to Denmark, and he's been, through, this, through his social life, he's been incorporating these values into the Western culture that he's also been affected by, along with many other people. Socially, politically, as well as physically, Baba has been, an active, has been active in raising awareness of the Hazaras around the world. And he's helped in many ways that he could. He's been a contact person for, and a bridge between um, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Denmark. And he's also been representing the Hazara people everywhere in the world, for example, also in respectively Afghanistan, Pakistan, and across in Europe. He's tried to be a voice through all of these political discussions around the world, and he's raised this voice for the Hazara people. Since the establishment of the Hazara Student Federation that was established in 1974 in Quetta in Pakistan, Babe has been an active supporter, both financially, morally, as well as spiritually. And the Hazara Student Federation, or the HSF, has been the cradle of all Hazara leadership that has been in Pakistan. Almost all the political leaders and activists of the Hazaras in Pakistan, they have been members of the HSF and also the current leader of the Hazara Democratic Party in Quetta, as well as one of the members of parliament that were recently elected in the Balochistan Assembly. They're all, they have all been former members of the HSF. Now, HSF is currently the student wing of the Hazara Democratic Party, and it focuses on the students' right to education, and it tries to enhance students' views on their surroundings and make them know about the world issues so that they also themselves can become more curious and critical thinkers. So clearly the HSF as well as education in general have been of utmost importance to Babe. And this is also shown in his great work and support for the HSF among other things. Babai has lived a life that is devoted to others in order to help other people and support them. And his financial and moral support to the HSF that I just mentioned, as well as his great deal of support to over a hundred refugees coming to Europe, it just shows how big his heart is for his fellow Hazaras. He's shown a great deal of empathy for others and he's helped them in every possible way that he ever could. Um, all of this he did on his own, and not because someone told him to do this, but he didn't gain anything like money or power or recognition either, but he did this independently and out of his own free choice and compassion. His actions have positively affected many people, and it has also helped many lives and improved many lives that we know of. And this is why we're gathered here today, from Australia to America, from local to global, to pay tribute to a man that has been a leader, a man that has been a philanthropist, a friend, an uncle, 
a leader and a pioneer. We've gathered here to show all of our love and respect and above all, our sincere appreciation to all the good deeds that he's done for our people. Thank you very much, Babe. Thank you for everything you've done for our generation and for the generation before us. May you live a long, Babe. May you, may you live a long, long, happy life and good health. Thank you so much, and once again, welcome.